Welcome back. We're going to take a little bit further now. We've talked about how you can add more sharks in the last video. If you didn't get all of that coding, go back and watch the previous video, hunting stars hyphen more enemies. That's really going to help you in taking this in order, and that way you don't seem to get lost as we try to add more to this. One thing that I want to share with you, um, soon we're going to have that parent night up here, and we really want you to show off the games that you've created that you're thinking of. And something that may help you in creating or coming up with a game is often just a random dice roll. Another example of when this might occur is the simple fact that I often lose the dice that go with other games. They get put in a box or in a closet, they get messed up, and then I can't find the dice that I need when I want to play that game. So a quick example of how we could do this, we're going to again go over here, we're going to add a sprite called cat. We're going to just use this one this time. And our background is irrelevant for this, but normally you'd have something different. What we want to do then is we're just going to say, all right, again, our event, when green flag is clicked. And then I want to do it by say, but we're going to use our looks because it's going to look like they're saying. So, for example, say hello. That's a just excellent opportunity there. But now we want to use our operators. These are the things that we can change. And we're going to say pick random one, two, six. And this is your standard uh, square dice, your six-sided dice. And so now when I come up here and click on the green flag, he's going to say a random number. He said four. So that would be like rolling the dice for a number four. If I do it again, I got a six. Another six, a five, a six. So you can see that while I can quickly roll up a bunch of dice without having to try to find that part of the game, or I could use that as a way to make a game if you needed to do a dice roll. So just something to go along with what we did last time in adding random. Now, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to delete this one. And... Click up there on the trash can because again, it's irrelevant for what we're doing with hunting stars, but just something that I wanted you to understand. All right, we're now going to look at collecting the stars. So we've been able to come up with our enemies, our sharks that are trying to capture our cat, but our cat's trying to catch stars, and so we want to be able to add more in there and we want to be able to give ourselves a value so we're going to look at this and we're going to go in here and we've got our star already added but we're going to work on coding with that so we're going to click there on the star and let's look at our coding we want to first add a script because right now it's just go to random position but we not, might need to make it a little bit harder for that uh, but we want to also move it whenever the cat touches it, because if it's just slowly moving around and the cat could just follow it, it would run up our score real quick. So we might need to use, again, our random options. So again, we want to look at our forever, but we want to now look at an if statement. And again, this goes with our controls. So we've got our forever but we want to use our if then. We've talked a lot about if then. Powerful conditional statement. Remember that. Conditional. If this is true, then do this. Otherwise, you don't do it. If touching star, then we get a point or whatever we put in here. And this is the key, and, but this is what makes your conditional statements so powerful. So we're going to first start if touching cat. So we need to look at a sensing. So we're, okay, we've said mouse pointer. We're now saying cat flying. So if touching cat flying, that's a sense. Touch is a sense. 
we want to then move. So we're going to go up here and we're going to look at motion. And go to X, Y. But now we want to, again, go back to our operators and use that random. So we're going to say pick random, pick random. And again, remember, we're doing just random items. So we're going to start with negative 200 to 200. And we're going to do the same for the Y statement. Or better yet, let's just go negative 150. And 150. All right. So this is going to be our positioning here. And it's going to change because we've made it random. We can also sit there and when the cat touches the star, we can add something such as sound. This again changes up the effects of the game. So we're going to say play sound. Yeah. Oh, I don't want. Do we have that as an option? Oh, we do. Yeah, play sound until done. I'm just going to start sound. I think that one will work just fine. And you can go in there and let's find something different. Let's go up to our sounds and let's try. Okay, we could look in our menu. There's many different ways. Actually, I'll let you find something that you think would be silly. Maybe it'll sound like a, I don't know, a bear or a, I'll let you think. Maybe a dog barking. You come up with something creative. I'm going to put roar. And then I go back to my code, and then I can click right. Ah, oh, it's already put it on there. Now, again, people, you need to be using your headphones. I've got more than 25 students in class, and if all of you are listening to this at the same time, it's impossible for us to be able to understand what's going on. And it gets very distracting. I ask that you respect each other. That's the key that we're after here. So... I'm going to stop this. Go ahead and continue on. If you have questions, let me know. Work with your teammates. Talk to them. If you notice that they're having problems, see if you can help them. Remember, ask three, then me. Ask three people. Talk to them. There's a lot of people in there that can help you, and often I'm trying to help other students. So work as a team. This is real simple, but don't forget, soon we have family night coming up, and you need to show them a game. It does not have to be this hunting star. You can create a lot of different games out there. Put some effort into it. Those that bring your parents will get a 100 test grade, 100 points on a test grade, just because you deserve it. So let's put in some effort. Look forward to seeing you. Take care. If you have questions, let me know, but ask three, then me. Take care.